Hi everyone. Welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to discuss about revaluation of PPE, property, plant and equipment and related accounting entries. Especially, I thought of uh, discussing this question because this was raised by one of my subscribers. So he requested me to discuss revaluation of PPE. So like Suspit Roy, if you have any hard questions or any concept which bothers you, just leave a comment. I will discuss those hard questions or concepts. And also, please let me know if you want to add lectures covering new topics. I will work around the clock to add new lessons for you. Now let's move on to the question. On 1st January 2011, the information of an equipment is given below. The equipment cost worth $400,000. The estimated useful life is 10 years and the residual value $40,000. On 1st December 2013, the equipment was revalued to $312,000. Calculate the revised annual depreciation from 1st January 2014 onwards. Provided if there is no change in the remaining useful life and the residual value. What does it mean? Now, in order to make adjustments for the revaluation, first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to identify the carrying value you need to identify the carrying value of the asset so carrying value means the net book value so this is what you need to identify. Now in order to identify the net book value or the carrying value, so let's record this particular transaction. So this was purchased on 1st January 2011 and this was revalued on 31st December 2013. How many years this asset was used until 31st December 2013? So 2011, 2012 and 2013. So altogether 3 years. So if you take the equipment account. So this is the equipment account. On 1st January 2012, on 1st January 2012, so we bought this 400,000 worth of equipment. So this was the 400,000 cost. Then you need to provide depreciation for 3 years. So how do you calculate the depreciation? So depreciation has to be calculated on straight line method. So you have the cost 400,000 minus the residual value 40,000 divided by 10 years. So which means 360,000 divided by 10. So depreciation amount will be 36,000 per annum. So you need to open you need to open up an account for depreciation and accumulated depreciation. Depreciation account. Each year you need to provide depreciation of 36,000 per annum. So, so what you need to do, so 31st December 2011 accumulated depreciation 36,000 
the depreciation expense account this is this will be transferred to the profit and loss account so you debit depreciation account and credit the depreciate accumulated depreciation account 36000 so likewise 2012 and 2013 also the same entry has to be recorded let me complete the accounting transaction for 2012 and 2013 as well so at the end of 31st december 2011 this amount will be transferred to the next financial period so you need to balance off this account balance carried forward 36 so again first january 2012 this will be opening balance 36 and this will be transferred to the profit and loss account 36 so likewise for 2012 and 2013 we need to pass the same entry so after recording the depreciation for three years now on 31st December 2011 so depreciation was provided 36 and accumulated depreciation account was credited and this balance will be carried forward to the next financial year so 2012 also we provided 36,000 debit depreciation account credit dep accumulated depreciation account so at the end of 31st December 2012 your carrying forward balance of accumulated depreciation was 72 so this was carried forward to the next financial year and again 31st December 2013 36,000 was provided so depreciation account debit and credit accumulated depreciation account so at the end of 31st December 2013 you had a carrying forward balance of 108 if you take the equipment account so equipment account the same balance will be carried forward to the next financial year so you will have balance carried forward 400 so here 1st January 2013 balance brought forward 400 balance carried forward 400 at the end of 31st December 2013 so if you analyze the equipment account the equipment account cost will be carried forward to the next financial year at the end of 2031st uh, December 2011 this balance will be carried forward to the next financial year then 2012 at the end of 2012 this will be carried forward to the next financial year 1st January 2013 so we have a balance of 400,000 the equipment cost whereas at the end of 31st December 2013 we had an accumulated depreciation of 108 so as I told you earlier we need to identify the the carrying value of the asset or the net book value as at the revaluation date the asset was revalued on 31st december 2013 and the revalued amount of the equipment was 312000 so what you need to do to calculate the carrying value so in fact the carrying value will be your cost 400,000 minus the depreciation the accumulated depreciation as at 31st December 2013 so how much was that 108 so if you calculate so this should be 292,000 so this should be the carrying value 
So, in order to record this particular transaction, so what you need to do is you just simply transfer this 108 to the asset account, equipment account. This will be transferred to the equipment account 108. So, thereby there won't be any balance here. This is the accumulated depreciation 31st December 2013-108. So, the balance carried forward to the next financial year should be the revalued amount 312,000. So, therefore you can say 31st December 2013 balance carried forward should be 312,000. So, first January 2014, the balance will be balance brought down 312,000. So, this should be the balance. So, when you balance this account, as you can see, so credit side is more 10, 12, 420 and you will have 20 on the debit side. So, as you can see, your credit side is more than the debit sides. Therefore, there is a balance remaining 20. So, what is this balance? Where do you transfer this balance? So, this balance is known as revaluation reserve. So, this will be transferred to the, this will be transferred to an account called revaluation reserve. So, you need to open up an another account called revaluation reserve account 20, 31st December 2013, equipment account 20. So, this will be the revaluation reserve account. So, your carrying value of the equipment account will be 312. Now, calculate the revised annual depreciation from 1st January 2014 onwards. If there is no change in the remaining useful life and residual value, what does it mean? So, the estimated useful life was 10 years. So far, we have provided how many years? 2011, 2012 and 2013 for 3 years. So, what is the remaining useful life? That will be 7 years. And also there is no change in the residual value. So, residual value also remains the same. 40,000. So, when you provide depreciation on 1st January 2014, so that will be based on this amount, 312,000. So, how do you provide depreciation on straight line method? So, that will be 312,000 minus 40, that is the residual value, the remaining useful life of 7 years. So, that will give you a depreciation of 38,857. So, if you provide depreciation for the remaining years, so depreciation should be 38,857. So, this will be the answer for the first part. Now, let us move on to the second part. If the equipment is also revised as below, remaining useful life 5 years from 1st January 2014 and the residual value will be 46,000. Now, in the first scenario what we discuss, there is no, no change in the remaining useful life and the residual value. So, therefore, what we did, so when you when you took the carrying value as of 
1st January 2014. From that value, we deducted the residual value 40 and we divided this by the remaining useful life of 7 years. Now, in this case, so the carrying value on 1st January 2014 was 312,000. This is the revalued amount. And the useful life changed to 5 years. The revision happened on 1st January 2014. So useful life has changed here from 7 years to 5 years. And also the residual value also changed from 40,000 to 46,000. So this is the new useful life. Previously we took 7 years and previously we took residual value as 40,000. Now it is 46,000. So based on this, when you calculate the depreciation, so what will be the depreciation? So 312,000 was your carrying value, the revalued amount, revalued amount as on 1st January 2014. Now, to calculate the depreciation, you have to eliminate the residual value, which is 46,000. That is the revised residual value. And divided by 5 years, this is the revised useful life. So that will give you how much if you simplify this 53,200 per annum. Is that clear? So the first scenario, there is no change in the residual value and the useful life. So therefore we took we took the remaining useful life of 7 years since we have already provided 3 years depreciation and also there is no change in the residual value 40,000. So based on that we calculated the depreciation of 38,857 whereas in the second scenario the useful life has changed to 5 years and the residual value also revised to 46,000. So based on that, your depreciation amount per annum will be 53,200.